morning. Welcome aboard. Dragon SpaceX com check ground. SpaceX landing on Mars. This is where world is going. Problem they are facing are direction, velocity, and atmosphere, which are non-modifiable. Let go Mars. Come back to our world, cataract world. Luckily, we have modifiable factors for landing of foldable lenses in bag, like change in atmosphere. Here we will discuss hydro implantation of foldable lenses in which instead of ophthalmic viscosurgical devices we are using irrigating fluid for implantation of foldable lenses so how does it work it work on modifications of factors which are direction velocity and atmosphere coming to first modifiable factor that is atmosphere we are replacing high viscosity substance like ovids with low viscosity substance like irrigating fluid irrigating fluid forms a cloth chamber like ovids with less friction to foldable ials irrigation cannula passed to halfway to pupil through side port and one opening of cannula is directed towards cornea and other towards pc it inflects anterior chamber and then aval cartilage is inserted through the tunnel as you can watch aval is being inserted gently into the ac slow release of aval is recommended and progression of aval insertion is to be monitored keenly keep irrigation cannula above aval watch at unfolding of leading haptic and make sure that leading haptic goes below axis margin into bag one can rotate injector according to the unfolding of aval so that it will open in anti-s shape and do not get tum now with dialer trailing haptic can be pushed into bag and dialed to position as the name suggest hydrophilic lenses remain drenched with fluids and having lesser recoil memory so more pliable in aqueous environment so hydro implantation of hydrophilic lenses is easier compared to hydrophobic lenses hydrophobic material have better optics and higher memory hydrophobic lenses repel water or aqueous fluid and don't let these fluids accumulate in or around it that's why they have lesser chances of pco compared to hydrophilic lenses due to its higher memory and larger haptics these lenses do not recoil easily and this problem is exaggerated during hydro implantation as you can see compared to imported hydrophobic lenses indian hydrophobic lenses have higher memory and they don't recoil easily we have to carefully see whether both haptics are opened in bag Sometimes one haptic may remain folded or may remain in sulcus or both in case of mid dilated or poor dilated pupil as you can see in this case one has to inject leading haptic towards back blindly and press down optic and trailing haptic wait for few seconds for natural unfolding of aval confirmation of in bag implantation of lens must be done by retracting iris with second instrument as it is well said we build on our success and learn from our mistakes here is a case of primary folded haptic behind aval bag is distended with visco and folded haptic and part of optic explanted out of bag folded haptic is pulled and unfolded haptic haptic junction is pushed into bag early intervention is necessary in such cases 
Apart from early PCO, another potential complication of hydrophobic acrylic lenses is cracking during insertion. Here is a case of cracked hydrophilic intraocular lens which is noticed on post-op follow-up dilated examination. Eyewell is cut with microvanas under viscoelastic substance, tunnel is enlarged with keratome and eyewell is explanted out. Posterior capsular integrity is checked and new foldable eyewell is implanted. Concluding my session, take home message is to remember direction, velocity and atmosphere. As you can see in this image, SpaceX don't have opportunity to modify these factors but they are still planning to land on. We have all these factors modifiable so why not our lenses will land safely in back under hydro implantation. Aim at Mars, at least we will land up upon Moon.